Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here with the up air again, and we're going to be flying this in headless mode. So we have to uh, switch down for headless mode. And what headless mode does is allows us to fly this uh, copter in various orientations. So right now we have the head pointing forward, but what we're going to do is we have the video rolling, and you can see I'm pushing the head where I've now yawed it and when I push the stick out you notice it moves out when I pull the stick back it moves in even though the head is actually facing north or to the left of my orientation the same thing for left and right it moves to that that orientation so if you get lost by clicking into headless mode allows you to gain control no matter what your yaw uh, position is so notice this way I've actually reverted totally backwards and again I push it out it goes out I pull it in it comes in so this way again no matter what the orientation that you're in it's going to uh, be in uh, perspective of the operator as in I showed in the tutorial video no matter how the copter ends up being yawed even at a 45 degree angle it's still going to come backwards and forwards and go left and right just as if it's uh, uh, you know working in the same plane as you the operator your same visual perspective which is key you know to you know flying especially if you get disoriented in flight so again I'm pulling this back and forth now one of the things I'm going to change it back I want to put this as an altitude hold and then now what, what's happening I'm back in a transitional mode so I'm going to yaw the copter around and I'm going to push it forward and you see when I push it forward it actually goes to the left and when I push it backwards, it actually goes to the right because now it's in transactional mode, so it's flying in retrospect to itself rather than me, the operator. So again, this is a little bit easy to kind of get turned around in orientation. But again, if I do this and I just simply click the switch down back in the headless mode, as you can see, pulling it back brings it back towards me, pushing it forward pushes it out. So uh, again, this works out very well. I'm gonna just the gimbal down. So um, hopefully this has kind of uh, helped you with headless mode and where it can come in handy because again if I get out over the lake and I lose my orientation my my fallback is simply to pull the switch back and then I know if I pull this the throttle or not sorry not the throttle but the stick back towards me it's going to bring the copter back towards me rather than push it out over further towards the lake and get lost. So Again, hey, hopefully this uh, video helped you out. If you got transaction, you know, questions about transactional or uh, headless mode flight, let me know in the comments below. If not, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.